गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल क्लियर ह्यू इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर नमस्ते माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर रक्षता एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट स्किन केयर वेलनेस एंड मेकअप सो इफ एनी ऑफ दीज इंटरेस्ट यू डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो गाइज टूडे इज वीडियो इज गॉन बी अबाउट माई फेवरेट सनस्क्रीन्स नाउ दिस वीडियो इज इन टू पार्ट्स दिस इज पार्ट वन इफ पार्ट टू इज ऑलरेडी अप आई वुड लीव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बट इफ इट्स नॉट दिन यू आर अ वेट फॉर पार्ट टू द थिंग इज आई हैव लाइक अ बंच ऑफ सनस्क्रीन्स आई रियली रियली लाइक एंड दिस वीडियो वुड हैव बीन रियली लॉन्ग इफ आई वुड हैव रिव्यूड ऑल ऑफ दैम इन वन वीडियो दैट्स वाई डिसाइड टू स्प्लिट इट इन टू पार्ट्स सो दिस इज पार्ट वन and there's going to be a part 2 uh, for the same series so guys without any further ado let's get straight into the video and i'm going to talk about all my favorite sunscreens all right guys so uh, i'm going to be swatching each sunscreen as i talk about it like not on my hand i'm going to insert clips of me applying those sunscreens onto my face i do have another video on sunscreens i did my top 5 sunscreens earlier so i'm going to leave uh, leave uh, a link of that video uh, below as well you can check that out it had like a combination of organic as well as like mineral sunscreens so you could find a few suggestions there uh in these two videos like this is the part 1 and part 2 i have completely new sunscreens that i haven't spoken about uh, in that video so let's get started with the first sunscreen all right guys so i do have like a notebook here and i have made like all sorts of notes in here about all these sunscreens so don't mind if i'm looking down a bit all right guys so the first sunscreen i'm going to be talking about is dr shet's ceramide and vitamin c sunscreen now this sunscreen spoiler alert is a fantastic i've loved it the thing is this is like a redemption product after the huge disaster their zinc mineral sunscreen was so you know let's discuss the ingredients in this one so i am going to talk about all the sun filters that are in this particular product all right so the first sun filter i'm going to go like hierarchy wise the way it's listed in the ingredient list so the first uh, filter in here is titanium dioxide titanium dioxide is a mineral sun filter it is a broad spectrum sun filter which means it's going to provide protection against uva rays as well as uvb rays now uva and uvb rays cause different skin problems uvb rays is uh, you know predominantly responsible for causing tanning and skin burning while uva rays is more leaning towards you know skin cancer and skin aging that is why your sunscreen has to have protection for both uva and and uvb so uh, with that titanium dioxide is a broad spectrum filter means it's uh, it protects against uva and uvb rays the next one is ethyl hexyl methoxy cinnamate now this is like a mouthful <laughs> so uh, the other name of this particular sun filter is uvinyl mc80 i'm going to use a lot of these shorter names throughout this video i'm going to in case you have any confusions i'm going to you know like write the clinical name and the inky uh, name like side by side in the comment section below even in the description box but there will be a pinned comment so that you guys have no confusion uh, all right so as i was saying the second filter is uvinyl mc80 it is a very effective uvb filter it is very stable then we have uh, butyl methoxy di benzoyl methane which is basically avo benzone it is a uva filter and it's going to give you protection against uva rays uh so the next one we have octocrylene now octocrylene is another broad spectrum filter it provides you know protection against uva as well as uvb rays the last filter in here is zinc oxide zinc oxide just like titanium di dioxide is another mineral sun filter it is again uh, you know a broad spectrum filter it's going to give you protection against uva and uvb rays Now basically this particular sunscreen is very hydrating very moisturizing and very lightweight at the same time it does not feel like a heavy duty moisturizer or anything this is very uh, essency kind of a sunscreen like it feels like a essence moisturizer hybrid it's very lightweight it's not gel but it's not like a thick cream moisturizer either it's like a very in between it feels really really nice so uh, this is like another reason why I like 
like it. I'm going to insert a clip, like I said, of me trying the sunscreen on. So you could, you know, see the white cast and texture and everything. This one does not have any white cast. The ceramides in here, see the thing is, this purpose of ceramides in your skin cap uh, is basically just moisturizing. Ceramides are, uh, you know, good for, your, like your skin has a lot of ceramides in there, but applying straight up ceramides to your skin is not going to add to the ceramides like, you know to like make up the protein integrity of your skin these are just moisturizing in nature if you want your skin to be like intact and full of ceramides from within you have to eat a lot of proteins sometimes topical peptides help in that but like a ceramide in a moisturizer or a sunscreen is just moisturizing this one does have hyaluronic acid as well making it like a really hydrating sunscreen this does have sunflower oil uh, it does have a few good emollients as well all in all this is like a fantastic sunscreen very lightweight you know like just amazing and this is probably my favorite from the bunch in today's video it's amazing and i highly recommend it Alright guys, so the next two sunscreens are from this company called Sunscoop SPF. Now this company is completely sun based. They have I think four sunscreens uh, in their product list right now. It's a newer company so I think they've launched four sunscreens. When I purchased like I made a purchase they had three at the time. I think they've added like a dewy sunscreen but they had three. One was mattifying, one was invisible and one was a fluid sunscreen. Now I wanted to try these two so I purchased these two and I gotta say that I like both of them. I'm going to discuss the ingredients and then I will elaborate. Now first let's just talk about the invisible sunscreen screen so let's get down to the ingredients now this is basically an SPF 40 I think I forgot to mention about the doctor shades uh, uh, you know sunscreen that one is SPF 50 with a P of three pluses and I forgot to mention it completely so I'm so sorry about that but with this one it is an SPF of 40 and PA three pluses for your sunscreen to be effective it should be at least an SPA of 30 plus and a PA of three pluses now with this one uh, the filters that we have the first one is octocrylene now octocrylene is another uva and uvb protective which means it's a broad spectrum sun filter the next we have uvinyl mc80 which was in the doctor shades one as well which is ethyl hexyl methoxy cinnamate i'm not going to say like these longer names again and again because it's a mouthful but yeah so basically it has uvinyl mc80 which is a uvb sun filter then it has avobenzone which is a uva sun filter so these are basically what sun filters are in here. Pretty good stable sun filters. This seems to provide like a good UVA and UVB protection. Now with this particular sunscreen, as you can see, this is like a completely, completely invisible, transparent sunscreen. I was really fascinated by it when I heard the word invisible and transparent because an, an invisible sunscreen basically guarantees that it's going to leave no white cast. And true to its name, it doesn't. Like I said, I'm going to insert a clip of me trying this sunscreen on so you could see the texture and everything. Now guys, with the texture of this particular sunscreen, uh, it's, it, it's gotten like a bunch of mixed reviews. I make my friends and my family try out like the sun products. Uh, so, you know, I get like reviews of multiple people. I personally like this one a lot but some members of my family found it a little bit heavier on their skin they felt like it was heavy it was sitting on top and they didn't feel like it was very comfortable but i personally didn't feel that way i guess i'm just used to wearing like thick physical sunscreens so this one just seemed like a better option uh, this one does like if you call like if you're talking on your phone like this it like the sunscreen would transfer on your phone it does sit on top of your skin which is basically like a sunscreen's function but this one you can feel that it's literally like a proper film on top of your skin but I don't mind that feeling that is why I like this sunscreen another reason I like it is because this one 
like i said it guarantees that it has no white cast so any skin tone any skin type can use this one and i don't think they will have a problem so if you have like uh, if you don't like a little like heavier more silicone heavy sunscreens this will not be your cup of tea but if you are fine with that you might like it and you can give this one a shot from my end i definitely recommend it all right guys so the next one is sunscoops fluid sunscreen now this was new to me and i was really fascinated by it because i haven't personally seen anything like it i've heard of you know like a serum sunscreen but in indian market i didn't really know that you know we'll get one and we did so this is basically spf 60 and a pa of 3 pluses now let's get down to talking about you know the sun filters in here so even this one has uvinyl mc80 which is a uvb sun protective filter it has octocrylene which is a broad spectrum sun filter it has avobenzone which is a uva filter it does have zinc oxide as well as titanium dioxide in here which are both mineral filters and both broad spectrum stable filters now with this particular product the only problem i have is that it's small it's just 30 ml of sunscreen and you're gonna run out of it in no time like this one i don't think would last you even like 10 days personally because it's just like a really small size and you need to use like a huge amount of sunscreen on your face to get like optimum protection so that's my only concern that this is not gonna last a long time how many are you gonna repurchase but this is like a more dewy sunscreen it's on the dewy side a lot of dry skin types will enjoy it like a lot on my particular skin tone this did not leave any white cast at all it blended seamlessly and it was just perfect texture wise also it felt lightweight to me so i definitely recommend it and you can see in the swatch that i will insert of this that i didn't have any white cast really like you know really rich melanin beauties might you know have some white cast but not major in my opinion but you know if you've tried this out and if you're like on the more melanin rich uh, skin tone then you could just let me know in the comments if you had any white cast problems with this one i personally don't think you should because this is like a pretty nice you know minimal white cast formula and i definitely recommend it Uh, guys all the three sunscreens that I mentioned just now are all three fragrance free by the way I forgot to mention that so all skin types can use it I feel it's safe for everyone so you know that's something like I would like to add now guys my next sunscreen is this face skin SPF juice sunscreen now if any company markets its product uh, in the name of SPF juice you better believe that I am going to buy it because the name is just so appealing you know if SPF juice just sounds like the most uh, moisturizing most juicy most dewy sunscreen in the world so I was immediately you know like attracted to this one and I quite like it but let's you know discuss the ingredients because there is a catch with this one that I would like to talk about alright guys so talking about sun filters even this one have uvinyl mc80 i think all the sunscreens that i mentioned had uvinyl mc80 in it uh, it's a pretty popular sun filter and pretty stable so i get the appeal so this one also has uvinyl mc80 in it which is a stable uvb sun filter then um you know the, th the thing with uvinyl mc80 uh, is that it's not like the most stable sun filter it does degrade like the 10 percent of the sun filter degrades within 35 minutes so all these sunscreens you have to reapply within you know two hours you have to reapply them if you want like the best possible protection on your skin so uh, the next one the next ingredient in here is avobenzone which is again a uva filter it's again it's pretty standard it's a it's the most standard uva filter basically at least in the us because in the us uh, people don't like they don't allow 
on newer sun filters like Tinozorb. So, you know, this is mainly the UVA filter they rely on. Then there is, now here's the catch, here's the catch. This one has oxybenzone in it. Oxybenzone is basically a broad spectrum UVB and UVA sun filter. It is very, very stable. And in most products, it, it's not used as, you know, the primary sun filter. It's used as a photo stabilizer, which is just to stabilize the other sun ingredients. Now, the problem with this particular ingredient is that it can travel through your skin into your bloodstream. Now, there were some tests conducted on this particular sun filter. Uh, the tests were conducted on, you know, like cells in a petri dish or on like smaller organisms where they found out that this particular sun filters caused, you know, disruption of endocrine cycle. It did have, you know, like estrogen like effect. So it did, uh, you know, disrupt endocrine system basically but not to mention these tests did happen in like a petri dish of cells so like human body in its whole is very different than you know all the researches that are done on a petri dish on a scientific basis it's very 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 different now they did conduct trials of this particular sun filter on real humans turns out it did travel in your you know bloodstream and it was found in the urine but none of those researches showed any conclusive effects of you know this filter on your endocrine system it showed that it caused no harm it was just crossing like your skin into your bloodstream uh, but it did not cause like any side effect as of yet or in those researches so i am fine with this sun filter but i get why a lot of you might not want to use it or the fear associated to it so this one's a very personal choice sun filter if you don't have a problem if you believe in these scientific researches that say that it did not harm you know endocrine systems in like a whole human body as a whole not like cells in a petri dish then it's fine like i'm fine with it i use this i really like this sunscreen but if you're not you better don't use it you can try all the other sunscreens there are so many so many sunscreens that don't have oxybenzone in them so you know this is more like a personal choice like i said i'll say it again i don't mind it but if you do you do you i'm not recommending this to everyone because this particular ingredient i get the fear associated to it so you know this it's your call from my end it's like a nice sunscreen you could give this a try but completely your call uh, it also has titanium dioxide in here not that high up in the ingredient list but yeah definitely it has titanium dioxide which is a mineral sun filter and it provides broad spectrum you know protection now the thing is this particular sunscreen feels really nice on your skin it's that SNC moisturizer hybrid like the Dr. Shet's sunscreen which is why I like this so much these two sunscreens are the sunscreens I want to reapply the most I'm the most excited about these and this is how your sunscreen should be you know sunscreens you would want to reapply and use you know that's your perfect <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> yeah so i was saying your perfect sunscreen is basically a sunscreen you would want to use you know regularly and you would want to reapply so choose wisely for me it's these two so yes i recommend this one but like i said completely your choice because of that controversial ingredient oxybenzone Well, we are on to the last sunscreen of this video, which is the 1% Hyaluronic Acid Gel Sunscreen from the Dermaco. This one now, I it's I think my fourth tube of this sunscreen. This is again such beautiful sunscreen with like a texture very similar to the, doc, uh, the Dr. Shed sunscreen. Though this one, that one is... A little more lighter more SNC this one is a more moisturizer like feeling sunscreen but nonetheless I love this sunscreen this is SPF of 50 PA of 4 pluses 
I absolutely love this sunscreen. I have a complete, complete detailed review of this sunscreen along with me trying it out. The thing is, I am out of this bottle as well and there's no new stock on the website. I'm waiting for them to restock this so I can repurchase this again. That is why I won't be able to film like a try on right now. But, but, but there is a video of me applying this and I'm going to link it in the description box below in case you're interested to see the texture and everything. But let's just discuss the ingredients of this one very quickly uh, in this video as well. If you want like a more detailed one, more detailed review of this product, you can watch that video. Alright guys, so this particular sunscreen has titanium dioxide as its second ingredient which like I said is a mineral sun filter, broad spectrum, very stable. Then this also has Uvinyl MC80 which is a UVB sun filter. This has zinc oxide which is another mineral sun filter uh, which again provides broad, broad spectrum uh, protection to your skin. Then this also has avobenzone which is a UVA sun filter. I do realize that most of these sun screens have really similar skin uh, you know like filters these are filters that are mostly available in the US these are not the newer filters like Tinozorb which a lot of Korean sunscreens use the second video that I'm gonna make has sunscreens that have those filters but in this video I've clubbed all the sunscreens that have like similar ingredients together so which is what I discussed so you know I love this I definitely recommend this I do have a code with Dermaco all the discount codes that I have I'm gonna leave it in the description below but yeah I do have a code with Dermaco Go and definitely did my phone just ring in the middle of this video ah, all right I'm so sorry about that I forgot to mute my phone uh, but yeah so this sunscreen I love and I definitely recommend it to you well guys with this we come to the end of this video this was part one of my favorite sunscreens there's a part two like I said and I'm gonna link the part two if it's already up I'm gonna link it in the description below if it's not you gotta wait for it <laughs> it's gonna be up soon so let me know in the comment section which of these sunscreens you've tried and you like or if there's any other sunscreen that you really like so do let me know your thoughts don't forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel I make good content for you guys trust me so please subscribe it helps my channel a lot and yes with this one i'm going to see you next time until then bye bye